a cold, crowded room you sit in. Screams and tears fill the atmosphere. You watch as people walk into what they expect to either be their one-way ticket to eternal sleep or just another day breathing. Beds fill, crowds rush. A bed, all you need to cure your pain. As time passes by, you grow weak. A surge of endorphins courses through your body. Your body begins to deteriorate, your thoughts blur. Your heart slows and your breath shortens. Your last breath. Just another body count added to the ranks of the deceased. Death caused by overcrowded ERs. Hi, my name is Taylor Chan and I'm a freshman at La Huera High School. I've always thought we we're in the hands of the best, but it seems as though by the time we step foot into an emergency room, a timer is set to meet with Father Death. According to ScienceDaily.com, over 130 million patients have been omitted to an open ER ever since 2010. Another study by the U.S. National Library of Health states that over a three-year period, over more than one-fourth of the deaths in ER were entirely preventable. That's an easy 33 million lives lost due to reckless care. Although you might say that the healthcare in this nation is far more advanced than we previously had been, I strongly feel as though with today's technology and knowledge, it's a mere scrape to the ever so growing problem in the future. According to Reuters Health, you have an increased 25% on the likelihood to meet with death when omitted to an overcrowded ER. To better ensure the safety and wellness of our community, we should open more hospitals around one another. There should also be a program built within our paramedic units to route paramedics to certain OPERs. For convenience, we should also build bigger hospitals with more hospital beds to ensure that overcrowded ERs are a thing of the past. At the end of the day, time is a vulnerable and fragile thing we must protect. Let's protect time and save lives. Thank you.